and always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajis wa da'ifu miskeen wa zalim jahad. But for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence, inshaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Always a reminder for myself that we took a path in which to be nothing and Testing comes to remind you to be nothing and the holy month of Shahwan is uh, the reality of the binary code and as much as we speak about it, as much as the thought can go deeper, the thought that comes from the heart not the mind, that our existence is based on the understanding and the depth of understanding in the binary code. As much as we can learn in our lives to be off, as much as we can receive the Divine Grace which is uh, an eternal on factor. That eternal grace and Allah's qudras and energy and uh, emanations, whatever words people want to associate with the Divinely emanations, the best way of receiving those emanations is in the state of the servant learning to be off. And off is in many aspects of our life from ourselves, our families, our, our family relationship, community relationship, work relationships. Everything around us gives us a testing in which how to learn to be off. So this is a, a given in our lives. When we learn to be off through the path of humility then Allah's Divine the Grace dresses and grants the hijrah for that servant because you have a whole year of this practicing to be off. Means Allah gives you the ability to answer back. You know oppression they don't have hand nor mouth to say anything. So they are forced into humility but one whom has… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nur John, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Both hand and mouth to reply back but chooses to refrain and chooses to submit then is granted these oceans of humility. And that becomes the difference when people are wondering about oppression and, and usually the, the, the weakened child and weakened women start to text and email, what about you know I'm, I'm being oppressed. Oppression is something different. The oppression and the du'a of an oppressed servant is granted relief by Allah that's a given. But having the ability to say something and do something back. But choosing for the sake of Allah and the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad not to. And that becomes the, the reality of this binary code. The Shawwal reminds us that right after being effaced and everything burned down like dust from the Divinely power of Ramadan because the nafs and, and all the evilness that we see or we don't see is burned with Ramadan. 
uh, sun baked. Ramadan actually I think that means something that baked in the sun. And it's us that's baking that Allah washes us, cleanses us by Ramadan and that only by Allah's grace because I'm going to give you that no Prophet, no angel has seen and what's the best that Allah can give to us is to be washed and to be cleansed so that we are receptacle of that Divinely grace and Divinely lights and, and Divinely stations. By these lights and grace is how everyone is elevated. When we talk about vibration, the vibration means that God loves grace, God's grace has to be on the servant that they're being lifted, they're being elevated, the vibrations are being raised, the frequency of their light and their soul is being raised and that's only by turning off. And that path of turning off is then that teaching of humility in which Allah wounds from the servant that don't use your mouth when you have even the ability. Because it's not a sign that you're, you're incapable of answering therefore you stay silent but you're very capable of answering and using your mouth back. And that's the one that Allah wants that that one to stay quiet because you're capable of using your mouth, don't use it now. So there's a big difference in someone who's not capable, they are just oppressed. They have to take the oppression and they no have no, no financial, physical or any capability. And in the face of that, that's clear oppression against an aggressor. And everything else in our life is then a testing from Allah in the face of someone's aggression is that to remain silent. So that to reach Allah's satisfaction that whether by your physical ability you don't use it, whether by your verbal eloquence don't use it. And as a result they learn the system of shutting down. If we can shut down then Allah grants the servant more lights, more energies so that they can complete that year's hijrah. So it's a path of humility and humility is not only one's humbleness but it's the path of humiliation in which the servant is brought down and humiliated and for the sake of Allah and the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad then Allah dressed the servant and blessed the servant. And that's, that's immense reality of why ten comes after nine. So in the, in the knowledges of numbers in this way towards the Divinely path because these uloom and these knowledges are not for what is my birth date. Because we said the door of this reality and this gate of knowledges is you don't exist. So in this world the, the, the man that has no name, no existence, you took a path in which to be no one. And as a result of no one then everything through this door is about Divine realities. So the numbers are showing us the path towards that Divine reality that the nine is the king and in the presence of the king it annihilates everything and effaces it and that's what the miraculous ability of nine. The reality of ten shows us that now that you're nuqt because we don't write the zero in the Arabic we write the one with a nuqt. The nine turned you to a nuqt, to a dot. Nine has the secret of annihilation. As a result of being a nuqt Allah brings us into the presence of ten. That now you're a nuqt you're in the presence of one. If you can remember in your life's path to take this path of effacing that every time a test comes because people think that there's going to be like a, a message sent to them 
that we're going to be effacing you now, prepare. And it's not like that, it's a lifelong process that every time you have the ability to use your mouth, don't use it. For the sake of Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad If you have the ability to use your hand, don't use it. If you have the ability to use your, your, your authority, don't use it. And as a result of that, that station of ten opens, Subhana man dul arshi amma yasifoon that in the presence of this mighty one be nothing. Means that if you can use that ability against creation, no doubt then you would use that understanding in the presence of the one. But the one that cannot tame themselves for the lowest which is creation, how could they possibly tame themselves for the Divine? So then that becomes a necessary waypoint on this path. So imagine if there wasn't that reality then everybody who sought a spiritual path would begin to receive emanations and then think they're gods. And that's why these new age people like that, they do something, a jinn attached to them, they start to see something, they think they're gods, they're moving, they're divine, they're lights, they even start talking like that, I'm the divine god, I am the goddess of light, I am the sunshine, ooh, they have graphic uh, pictures uh, all, all around them. Why? Because something established within themselves and now they're in competition with the Divinely Presence and this is the pharaonic reality. So the pharaonic system of ten is exactly that, that you must be one. You must be the one at all times. You must talk that I and what they call ananiya, I-ness. In their vocabulary everything is about, I did this, I am this, I wrote this, I accomplished this. And this is the pharaonic system taught to them by their one eye because they're a group of one eyes and their whole system is based they actually do seclusion in public. So some of these magicians they do some sort of a seclusion in public. They put them in a place for 30 days and everyone can see them or they humiliate them in public. It's a public shaming and when they survive their public shaming then shaitan raises them. And this station of ananiya is then where pharaonic system and Divinely system complete opposite but they keep mirroring the Divinely path. So they understand our system and their exact polar opposite. So Allah's servants they're told to be nothing, negate yourself, efface yourself, bring it down. Even you have the ability to talk back, say something, don't say anything. So at every point in our life with our family, our spouse, our children, our communities, our work, Allah gives us an opportunity to reach our binary reality. And as much as we practice towards creation to be nothing, then we gain a security clearance in Allah's Divinely Presence because now we're in the presence of Prophet His awliyaullah, His holy companions and Ahlul Bayt. And in their presence there can be nothing but submission, taslim. So what we accomplish in the dunya opens the door for akhirah, Ex exact. Whatever is done in dunya immediately opens a reality in akhirah. So as much as the servant learns to submit and be in sujood a door is opening for them in Divinely Presence in which Allah dresses them by the One, the Divinely One. 
And as a result of that state of one and the continuous dress of that one which is the reality of shawwal and the reality of moving from shawwal to the eleventh month. Because then the eleventh month is then the reflection of one and one in which the one of Divinely Presence begins to reflect to the one reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and that becomes the Muhammadan dress upon the servant. And to reach the mirror of the Divine the Presence and the reality of the Ayna, the, the, the reality of that Divine mirror that draws us closer towards our hijrah and the hajj. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding of the binary code and the reality of being off and in the state of off and the reality of binary code is that the off state it waits for a charge because there is no on and off. The reality of binary is actually a positive charge and then negate a charge. So it's just a charge that comes and as the charge comes, the pulse of that energy comes, it moves and when the charge is dropped it's, it's the void of the charge because there's no negative. It's just when there's a charge it's a plus, when there is no charge it's deemed a negative. And in that state the servant understands and when Allah sends the charge thereon, then Allah asks from the servant then negate. And as a result of negation they can receive more of the charge from Allah in that reality. We pray that Allah grant us more and more understanding from the realities of shawwal and the realities of this system of on and off and the qudra and energies that are coming to dress the servant and the Divinely heart which is the reality of the heartbeat. At every moment there is a beat on and off, on and off which is the existence of the beat and non-existence of the beat would be another understanding for off. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon. Wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.